What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another Roblox tutorial. In this one, we're going to be building a conveyor belt. It's a really simple, simple script. Um, so right, right now, what I have here is a simple little, little dropper. Every time I step on this block, it just spawns in some cash, and we're going to have the conveyor belt just kind of swing it and bring it down to the screen area. Also, we start off with some cash here. If you've been following the tutorials, um, I'm gonna have a link in the description showing you how to make the cash. And so that later when this cash reaches this green spot, we'll also have it um, increase your money. And also, how do you make it so that when you touch this, it spawns out of the conveyor belt? That is from the previous video that you may or may not have seen. Let me bring it over for you. Um, regarding the spawn and models and part just check that out if you haven't seen it on with the video because this is going to be a quick one on making this conveyor belt move a few moments later all right so first thing I want to show you is just what's going on here um, you can see that there's no cash here. As soon as I hit play, um, one of them spawning right away. What? And what's happening here is that this is a touch. As soon as you touch it, something happened, and it's actually started to touch the floor when it starts off. It's not currently on the floor. If I could just go, yep, you can almost see it. It's not really on the floor, maybe it is. But what's happening is that it is touching the floor when it starts. So what I'll do is just slightly move it above the floor, maybe like so, and then hit the anchor so it doesn't move, it doesn't fall, gravity doesn't affect it, and you can see that the cash doesn't show up. So now it only happens when I touch it, like so. In case you're curious, the script that is on this is this code right here. So that's the money, this one here is the money. I'll just close that, we don't need to see that. This code right here, to simply target in the replicated storage where we will have where we do have the cash um, fallen object is that cash um, replicated storage where to spawn is in the workshop dropper drop mount so basically in the workshop we're gonna spawn at the dropper and the mount which is just the yellow piece right here and then finally just parenting everything together me represents the actual object here. We'll just say me, the script parent. And then the usual, when we touch it, fire off this function. It's just cloning and spawning in the part. If your part is not a part, if you're if you're using the model, then again, the video that I link in the description should show you how to do that. So on with the dropper. It is so, so, not the dropper, but on with the belt, which is super, super simple that I can't stress enough. You're probably like, okay, show us already. So let me show you. Here is the belt. And there's actually two pieces to it. Right here at this corner, I have a second belt. So we're gonna do it with the first one. Um, then we're just gonna duplicate it and um, add it to the second one right here, okay? So first thing, just hit the plus button here to add a new script, I'm gonna call it script. Um, and now I'll just go ahead and actually rename it to, uh, let's say belt belt script or belt code. Um, I'll say belt uh, script, belt script. Yep. Um, and then you can see it opens up here. Hello world. Code is so simple. I cannot tell you enough how easy it is to make this code. All right. Um, we're going to do a while. So we want this to continue running. So we'll do a while. Uh, first you type the word while. <laughs> That's really it. While true and then do. Um, after the do, there should be a end. So you can um, usually, if you press enter, the end should pop up by itself, and your code goes in the middle here. Um, this script is on the belt we want to affect. So all we gotta do is say script dot parent. Now we're talking about the actual object that we wanted to affect because the script is a child object off the belt, right? So script dot parent guys one line and that's all it really takes then we say dot uh, velocity which apparently is somewhat being depreciated later on but don't worry about it right now 
um, velocity, and then we say script dot parent. So ve script dot parent velocity. So the velocity of the belt is equal to the or C frame is that vector three. C frame is the position and orientation orientation of the base part. So the velocity is equal to its position dot look vector. So the forward direction, the direction it's looking um, times, let's say 20. Literally, you are done. <laughs> but this, however, I find that to be a little bit too fast, how frequently this happens. So what we could do is just drop a small little weight around anywhere around here. The weight could even be above this line of code. Like you could put the weight um, here if you wanted to. I like to put it after. So a little weight right here. And you're gonna have it wait for maybe like a, a 0 0.2, something like that is fine. That is it. You have completed. <laughs> you wonder why it took, you, it took me so long to show you this. All right, so for this, we are done. Your next step will simply be to go to your belt Click on that belt script, um, duplicate it, take one of them, drop it on the other belt, so now boat belt, you see? Um, this belt has it, this belt has it, okay? Boat belt has the same script. No changes is needed on either one of those scripts and you are all set. Let's have a go, watch it happens, boom, boom, boom. And turn right here and finally, so right here. Next step will be to increase your cash each time it's touched the green. I'm gonna drop that video for you right after this one. Again, thanks for watching. If this is content that interests you, definitely subscribe so you'll be notified on the next one. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and see you later.